I want to show you how to make a very simple pendant. Hold like this, but instead of, I want to have some sort of flare on it and then do the loop. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a twirl, twist of some sort. Maybe. So I might want to do an S or something perhaps a bit more irregular. Maybe like that. And then, yeah, and then go down that way. So you can immediately twist and then wire wrap, but I think what I would like to do is hammer it a bit. So what I, instead of hammering on the rock, I hammer on this, like this, I hold it. And I hammer more and more, and then less so there. So now. I've got that, and I think I like that. And then I'm gonna go into the hole like this. So I think I'm gonna plan it like that, like such. And I know that the hole is here, so I am going to kink it as well, a bit more. And don't worry, you can adjust if need be. But I'm going to do that. I'm eyeballing this. Okay, so I've got a little bit too much space there, I think. So I'm just going to fix that situation, making it just this much. Straighten that up. And I think it was just, so sometimes you could just see, maybe if it, I need to make it even smaller. And you can measure like this. I think that's good. Okay, there, how's that? That's good. And because it bends in a bit more on this side, I'm going to do this. get a bigger loop because that would work. So I made it big enough and you could, if you want to use a soldered ring to make that's thicker, you can do that too. So now I'm going to hold switch to this. You see there's a bit of space there. Now that the loop is perpendicular. And don't worry if you have to adjust. So because I want the wire to be all the way flush. And there is my stone. And I'm going to trim it. Now it's ready for the chain to go through. 